AFL Chief Executive Officer Ross Oakley is currently meeting with the Adelaide Crows board at Football Park. Oakley is there along with three other AFL commissioners to push for a larger slice of gate takings from the Crows home matches. As David Bashir reports, a move to levy SANFL members can't be ruled out. The distribution of gate takings from Crows home matches is a sore point with interstate clubs. With a league high membership base of over 30,000, the Crows have a huge financial advantage with interstate clubs returning home with little more than $2,000. The situation will be addressed tonight by AFL Chief Executive Ross Oakley, who will meet with Crows officials. On his arrival in Adelaide today, Oakley did not rule out a levy on SANFL members. The Melbourne clubs, I think, have a reasonable point when they, when they raise the fact that uh, there are 46,500 people at a game here and they get nothing out of the gate when they uh, come over to play. Uh, we think that the, uh, the SANFL membership uh, could, in fact, contribute something to the gate. It was a Victorian invasion in Adelaide today. Outspoken Collingwood President Alan McAllister was a guest speaker at the Port Adelaide Football Club, home of the Adelaide Magpies. McAllister believes the redistribution of Crow's home match gate takings must be addressed immediately. Oh, I think so. I think so. You see, you'll have a full house here on uh, Sunday and we'll probably go home with about $2,000 in our pocket. Adelaide Crow's officials are expected to stand firm, while at a book launch of the Crow's Tales today, skipper Chris McDermott had his say. Collingwood would get a fair bit their own way too, so I wouldn't say we're uh, one out in that situation. I mean, they're always pretty well looked after. So uh, I just think it'd be great for, for South Australia if we can do the right thing on the weekend win and, and to put a side like Collingwood out of the finals and to beat them to get in the finals would certainly be an added incentive, I think. Mm, see about that. Well, Dermot Brereton may feel the heat from his self-produced...